Hi everybody, I'm Lorenzo from lorenzcafecar.com and today I want to show you how to use particles emitter with particles rotation and friction in a Cinema 4D. Let's go to the simulate menu, set particles and let's create a particles emitter. Then let's create a new sphere. and set the sphere radius for example 10 ok now select the sphere and drag and drop into the emitter then let's go to the emitter menu and set bitrate editor by 2 and render 2 then set lifetime 50 seconds Then we will increase the seconds into the timelines. And set speed by 1500. Then check on show objects. Ok now select emitter and let's go to the MoGraph menu and select Tracer then let's create a new rectangle and set the rectangle size for example width by 40 and height by 10 ok now uh, let's create a sweep NURPS and select these objects and drag and drop into the sweep nurbs. Okay, now we can hide the sphere. Then copy the emitter object. And we can change the rotation by negative 180 degrees. and again copy the sweep nurbs object and select tracer and delete emitter then select emitter 1 and drag and drop into the trace link tab select type bispline Okay, now let's go to the simulate menu, select particles and rotation. Okay, now let's go to the rotation tab, select angle speed by 250 and mode acceleration. And let's go to the follow tab, select shape sphere set sides of the sphere by 250 and set fall off by 55% ok 
Okay, now let's go to the simulate again. Select particles and friction. Then let's go to the friction tab. Select object. Set strength by 4. Okay, now set strength, or strength 4 or 5, for example. If would you like to change the shape of the Zwipnurts object, select Zwipnurts, go to the Object tab, and select Details. Okay, now let's create a new Bernurps. Select the, the Swift Nurps object and drag and drop into the Hypernurps. And select Swift Nurps and drag and drop into the Hypernurps again. Let's create a new material, uncheck color and check on luminance, go to the texture, select Fresnel, set color for example gradient red and black. Then check on transparency and check on additive. Ok, now go to the texture, Fresnel again, set gradient, uncheck specular and check on glow, set inner strength by 10% and outer strength by 100%. Ok, then let's create a new material again, uncheck color and check on luminance, go to the texture, Fresnel, set gradient like blue, then check on transparency check additive and go to the texture and select Fresnel again. Uncheck specular and check on glow. Set inner strength by 10% and outer strength by 100%.
Okay, now let's create a new material for the background. Select color, go to the texture, select gradient. Set gradient, set type by 2D circular. Set color like blue or gray. Then select background. Okay, now go to the render settings. Set up to film video and HDTV. Set frame range all frames. Set save, set file destination and format by QuickTime Movie. And then set anti-analyzing, set anti-analyzing best.